headed into Buckeye, Arizona, the Skyline Regional Park, and uh, we're going to try out uh, basically a off-grid kind of boondocking adventure and uh, play tons of radio. Stay tuned. Oh, and we're going to review the Pactena Link Dipole. That'll be fun. Morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. We're out here in uh, Skyline Regional Park in Buckeye, Arizona. And the plan for today is to activate Pyrite Summit. I'm just shy of a mile uh, into the hike. Have a little over two, two and a half uh, left to go. And we're gonna be testing out the Pactena linked dipole. Uh, George uh, from Pactena did send that to me. And we're gonna see if we can activate this peak on 20 meters and 40 meters. Well guys, I finally broke away from the pack. Like I said, we are in Skyline Regional Park and there are a lot of really well-maintained, really well-marked trails here. A lot of them stick to like an inner perimeter and uh, once I left that, I pretty much left everybody else and haven't seen anybody in about 10 minutes. So just a quick PSA on soda, hiking, backpacking, all that good stuff. I think there's a false sense of security when you're this close to the city or have access to a trail this close to the city. Um, granted, it's still only about 7 a.m. local time, but almost nobody had any support gear. Just flip-flops and shorts. Uh, no water bottles, no backpack. So I encourage anybody who watches this channel and considers going out on the trail to uh, look up the 10 essentials and at the very least carry the appropriate amount of water based on how far you're planning on traveling and then a little bit of extra for reserve in the event that something goes wrong it's just weird we don't have maintained trails uh, where i live out in the country and uh, there's a very different sense of respect for the trails and uh, i carry a lot more gear than most people do it's just what makes me feel comfortable based on some experiences i'll probably share with you guys at some point in the channel but uh, anyways, just wanted to have a little chat as uh, I'm making the ascent and then we're gonna play lots of radio this morning, guys. Well, it's been a while since I've done this trail and uh, I shorted the distance by about half a mile. We're close now. Um, I have about one fifth of a mile to get to the summit, but uh, these views are already just simply pretty amazing for just being basically in the city. All right guys, we finally made it to the summit and this is not coffee, it's Propel. I need to uh, replenish the electrolytes and uh, one of my ham radio buddies from Canada, Melvin, he challenged me not to have coffee this morning. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pactena Link Dipole and uh, George from Pactena did send this to me but I had been using his uh, Pactena Mini NFED Half Wave on I believe 7 of 8 out of my soda activations. This will be the first time I'm using the Pactena Link Dipole and the reason why I wanted to give this a try is that I have been enjoying the lower HF bands uh, 80 meters and 40 meters for Nivis and if I put enough links on this, I can actually cover 20, 40, 60, and 80. Today on the summit, we don't have that much space. So I'm going to try to deploy it for the first time in an inverted V. And um, we're going to do 20 and 40. Now, the great thing about this design, as I did a few dry runs in a traditional dipole deployment at home, is that... Uh, it has a lot of really thoughtful considerations in terms of its design. There are these holes here where you can attach the S-clip carabiners and then connect your wire to these attachment points with the banana plugs. And these act as strain relief. And then I'm even using this to hang the dipole from the mast. And then they come with these 26 gauge, I think it's copper clad um, wire and each bundle has two 
20 meter quarter wave segments. So one of these uh, attached to both ends will give me 20 meters. And then he was kind enough to send me a second so that I can do um, 40 meters. So we're gonna attach uh, two segments or two um, elements on each side. And then uh, the power in this, I don't know, I'll sh show a close up. They have these, uh, actually I'm gonna have to show you guys when I uh, set it up, but basically there are these uh, strain relief um, points using the S-clip carabiners, and then you can use these banana plugs to uh, attach or detach the uh, segments where uh, you want to break the, the link in the dipole. And then he also did, he also did send me a uh, guide kit. I'm using a slightly different mast than the Pactana one. I'm using the Soda Beans Carbon 6 carbon fiber mast. It's uh, quite a bit shorter. Uh, in fact, I believe the only usable length I'm going to be able to get out of it with uh, the weight of the one-to-one -one ballon uh, is probably about 11 to 12 feet, even though that's a 19-foot mast. So let's go ahead and get her set up. All right, so I spent quite a bit more time up here, uh, mostly on two meters. I just intended to make my normal quick contacts, but uh, there's a lot of summit to summit activity, so a lot of great quick contacts. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, Pactena link dipole, and it took me a little bit more work than I usually have to do with the end fed half wave, which is by design. So here at the bottom, I have not guide out my carbon six carbon fiber mast. It stands 19 feet. Uh, I believe six inches and I have the dipole suspended at about 12 feet on the S-clip carabiner using uh, a little plastic uh, ring at the top. I have uh, two segments connected right now, two wire segments. Uh, that's where the uh, 20 meter mark is and then going out to 40 on the trekking pole. And uh, the one problem we have out here in the desert is that we don't have trees. And uh, so I was able to get a couple of rocks and stake that in. And the next problem I foresee happening is with the inverted V being able to uh, remove that link easily. Uh, so I haven't decided if I'm gonna do 20 meters today. Um, I'll share with you some final thoughts uh, either at the end of this video or as bonus material. But uh, the inverted V uh, out here on a summit uh, takes a little bit more doing. It's a fantastic antenna and we're gonna do some, uh, try to get make some contacts here in a bit. And uh, here's a shot of the other side. And I think I can get a closer shot of uh, the link. So what's cool about this is that that is, each segment is a quarter wave on 20 meters. And then you connect uh, one or more uh, quarter wave uh, segments using the S-clip carabiners and the banana plugs and then I, just like the other side, I have it going out to this trekking pole. All right, guys, I'm going to spot myself on 7.270 megahertz using SodaGo. I do have LTE access up here. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Kilo Tango 1 Romeo Uniform November operating summits on the air, calling all stations. November 6, Alpha, November. I copied uh, November 6. Go ahead with your uh, your call one more time. You're about a 5555. Yeah, this is November 6, Alpha. Norway 6, Alpha, Norway. You're 5 and 5 also. 5 and 5 also. I'm on 56, Charlie Tango 225. Charlie Tango 225. Over. Still not copying the, uh, the call sign. I have November 6, Alpha. Go ahead with your call one more time. Yeah, QSL, QSL. Uh, I have November 6, Alpha, November. Um, Charlie Tango 225 is your summit. I'm on Mike, November 129, QSL. Roger, Roger. Kilo Tango 1, Romeo, Uniform, November. Okay, thank you. What was my signal report again? You're coming in at about 5555. Seventy-three. That was a rough copy, guys. But it was a summit to summit. KT1, RUN clear and switching bands to 20 meters. 
All right, so I only made one contact on 40. Um, it just may be the way that I uh, am positioned here with all the rocks. Uh, but I'm going to slowly bring down the center mast and uh, try to just disconnect the uh, the element for 40 meters. And we should just be resonant on, on 20. So we'll see how that goes. All right, what do you think, guys? Am I going to be able to uh, disconnect the uh, 40 meter element? Let's find out. Step one's done, we got the mass down. And I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the other, other element. Wow, there's some huge hawks right behind here. No, I hope we have some luck bringing up the center mast without the uh, trekking poles falling over. Great success. All right, guys, I think I found an open frequency. Let me do a quick spot. This is KT1RUN. Is this frequency in use? CQ, 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 this is Kilo Tango 1, Romeo, Uniform November, operating summits on the air, QRZ. November 0, Whiskey Alpha Echo. November 0, Alpha something Echo, you are 5959 five nine into Pyrite, that's Mike November 129, QSL. Uh, QSL, the call is November 0, Whiskey Alpha Echo, November 0, Whiskey Alpha Echo. I'm in Montana, and your signal report is 5-3 with a little QRN, over. Thank you for the correction on the call and for the 5-3, uh, 73. This is Kilo Tango 1, Romeo, Uniform, November, operating summits on the air, QRZ. November 1, Romeo, November, Juliet, calling. November 1, Juliet, go with your call one more time. You're 5959. Five, okay, got the 59. Uh, you're uh, 5 and 7 with me. 5 and 7 with me into Vermont. From November 1, Romeo, November, Juliet, over. Yep, thanks for the, uh, for the call. 73. 73, and I sent you an email, but you can disregard. Not a problem. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. It's getting a little bit late here, so I'm going to start packing up. And uh, since it's an RV radio weekend, I'm going to go ahead and do some more experiments uh, once I get back down. So I've got about a 3.75 mile trek back, and it's already approaching 10 a.m. local time, so it's time to get out of here. Hey guys, it's uh, the following morning here in Skyline Regional Park. It's been a really fun weekend playing radio with the Pactena Link Dipole. I've been using it on 20 and 40 meter successfully, both for single sideband voice and also for digital. In fact, last night, uh, I'll show you the setup I have here in just a minute. Uh, I had no issue getting into a number of RMS gateways, uh, one in California and one very close here in uh, Wickenburg, Arizona. So really happy with the setup. Uh, I did run into a few challenges. I typically carry the much smaller NFED halfway for 20 meters from Pactena. And this is the one that I typically use for soda. Um, I will tell you personally, um, I'm leaning towards the direction of using the NFED half wave for soda because I just need to have the mast, uh, just basically one point to raise it and then do a sloper configuration. Um, while I really like the link dipole, uh, it just is too difficult for me to set up here in the Sonoran Desert since we don't have trees. Um, also with the inverted V configuration, I find that the uh, quarter wave uh, 20 meter links um, require that I either bring down uh, one or both legs um, or bring down the center mast as you guys saw just a bit ago in order to change the links. Um, at the house, I typically run it in a Nivis configuration about five or six feet off the ground. Again, much lower than most traditional Nivis deployments and uh, I don't have a problem removing the link. So for me, I think that antenna is going to be more of a semi-permanent fixture in the house so that I can run uh, 20 and 40 meters 
And then I'm gonna purchase, uh, don't have the, a couple more of the wild. I'm gonna purchase a couple more of these wire winders with the two uh, 20 meter quarter wave um, elements. And that'll allow me to basically, if I purchase one more of these, to uh, go to 60 meters on my current configuration. And then if I purchase a second one of these with, of course, the the wire, uh, take me all the way to 80 meters. So that's gonna be the plan. Um, I think I'm gonna have this be reserved more for um, RV trips, uh, trips in the Jeep, um, places where I know I'm gonna have trees. But for me, for soda, I'm gonna stick with the uh, smaller uh, and fed half wave. But uh, in general, I really like the stuff that pac comes out with, and uh, George has been really great. Um, again, uh, he did send me uh, the guy system. He did send me um, the extra 20-meter quarter wave segments, the one-to-one uh, -one ballon uh, for, the, um, for the dipole. But let's take a quick look at what we're doing here. And uh, again, much shorter configuration. So he did send me the uh, RG316. Uh, cable and I have it on my Pactena, sorry, my soda beams carbon six carbon fiber mast. And we're probably at about uh, seven feet here. And uh, I have it suspended with the uh, S clip carabiners. And as you can see here, it's really nice. You have uh, two S clip carabiners there for tension relief and then the loops with the banana plugs. And then heading on over here. This is where our first 20 meter quarter wave segment ends. And again, we have the uh, S-clip carabiner here for tension relief. And then we can just unplug these banana plugs to uh, basically break the link. So right now with this link in place, we're at 40 meters. And then I'm using my trekking pole since I typically have them uh, basically to get this thing off about uh, four feet, I don't know, three and a half feet off the ground. But in general, guys, uh, this isn't the last review you're going to see of the Pactena series of antennas. I have the random wire, I have the NFED half wave, and of course the link dipole. So just wanted to kind of wrap up uh, the summit activation. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for uh, some new videos on uh, ham radio and some other preps I'm doing. I've got a cool uh, greenhouse uh, irrigation system I'm building that's fully off-grid. Or, no, mostly off-grid. All right. Uh, there's some uh, grid tie there. All right. Disregard that. I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared.